Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Revit Defender 3 Gore-Tex jacket. Revit's Defender 3 Gore-Tex jacket is a new for 2022 addition to their adventure travel collection. It's clearly got the styling cues that are associated with adventure riding, and it's also got the kind of specification that suits big trips and long spells away on a bike. It's got a high-spec Gore-Tex waterproof membrane, which covers riding in ropey weather, and it's removable, so you can open up the vents in the outer jacket and get plenty of air through to the inside, so it also covers riding in really good weather. But let's start with the outer construction. The upper section of the shell is mostly made from 750 denier PWR, which is Revit's abrasion-resistant polyamide material. From the armpits down, the bulk of the jacket is ripstop, which has a tougher crisscross pattern woven through it to make sure any small tears don't develop into big tears. So those two materials make up the majority of the outer, but there's also some neoprene around the collar to make it more comfortable against your skin, and a newish Revit material called Park Skin. It's this tough material used at the shoulders, and it's cowhide, which has been treated to make it soft and flexible, yet still be hard wearing. There are also small stretch panels above the elbows and then a printed material on the forearms that gives a little extra abrasion resistance. And then finally, there are light reflective panels on the front, on the back, and also on each sleeve. The main fastener is a chunky zip and the collar at the top fastens with a popper that presses against this plate, which gives you adjustment for a closer or more relaxed fit around your neck. If you don't want the collar across your throat, you can press the popper back on here and have it out of your way completely. The cuffs do up with a zip and then there's a press stud over the top here and then there's a velcro tab around the base which helps you get a good seal between your jacket and your gloves. I always wear my gloves inside the jacket and I found plenty of room to get the cuffs of my thick winter gloves inside the sleeves of this jacket. So if the fit of the jacket overall isn't absolutely perfect straight away, there's the option to adjust it at the lower forearm just here and also at the waist and then the base hem. These adjusters are also useful when you need to adapt to the jacket after taking out or restoring one of the inner liners, which I'll get to shortly. So one of the big upgrades on this jacket compared to the Defender Pro that went before it is the amount of ventilation it offers. There are two big panels on the chest that fold back and then hold in place thanks to this really neat Fidlock fastener. Magnets help you locate the stud into the slot and I found that I could actually operate those vents while I was coasting along if I wanted to. Then there are two long vents on the inside of the arms and then two more on the back. The final inlet vent sits behind the main zip. So if you want the biggest amount of air it's possible to get, you undo the main zip, and then this mesh panel here allows air to flow through to the inside of the jacket while still keeping the jacket nicely fastened up. So all of these vents can give a good flow of air to the inside because that waterproof membrane is removable. So on a summer's day, when you've got the liner out, the air can flow straight through to the inside with only a light mesh between your skin and the air on the outside. I reviewed this jacket in January, so I had the inner liners most definitely in, and I could still feel the jacket running cooler on the inside when I opened the vents. So in summer, I'm really confident that you'd pl feel plenty of air flowing. So before I move to the inside of the jacket, let's just run through the pockets because there are plenty of them with this jacket. These two on the front have curved zips. This is the second Revit jacket I've worn with this setup, and I find it really easy to use those. There are two more just above them here, and then there's a small card pocket at the base of the left sleeve. The last one is the rear map pocket, which is something you usually find on an adventure style jacket like this, but this isn't just any old map pocket. In normal trim, it's got enough room for one or other of the jacket's liners. You can either put the thermal or the waterproof in there, but if you want to carry both of those liners, or if you want a liner and some other bits and bobs, there's an expansion zip to it, just like you get on a tank bag or a tail pack. If you undo that zip, you've got expansion room in there, so then it's got enough room to carry both of your liners, and I think that's a really clever piece of design from Revit. So let's switch to the inside of the jacket. The first liner you get to is the waterproof liner. It's a Gore-Tex three layer waterproof jacket that attaches into the outer shell with poppers at the collarbones and also some inside the cuff. The fact this is made from a three layer Gore-Tex means there's a mesh like layer that sits closest to your skin, which protects the membrane. So this means the Gore-Tex membrane itself can actually be thinner and more breathable without reducing either the waterproofing strength or its resistance to wear. This line is what's known as a destination layer. So when you're traveling by bike, the idea is you can use this on its own as a casual jacket in the evenings. That means not having to take a separate jacket with you in your luggage. That means not having to wear a bulky armored bike jacket around for the evening. There's a thermal liner that attaches inside that waterproof liner and it's complete with sleeves for really good warmth coverage. As I said earlier, I wore this jacket when it was really cold out. It was low single digits at the time and with a the thermal top underneath, I was quite happy with the warmth I got from this jacket. 
There's a pocket on the inside of both of those liners and really that's where you want to keep your valuables if it's raining as those are the best places to keep them dry. If you take out the two removable liners you can see the inside of the main shell. You get two pockets in there and if you're riding without those waterproof and thermal liners then that's where your wallet and your phone are going to have to go into one of those pockets. And unfortunately I didn't find either of them to be the ideal shape for that. It was okay but not brilliant. Shoulder and elbow armour comes as standard, it's made from Revit's C-Flex material and it meets the higher level 2 of the CE test for impact protection. It also passes two optional tests to show it does its job in both extreme heat and extreme cold, so you couldn't ask much more from your armour really. There's a pocket for a back protector and then pockets for chest protector inserts too, but all of those need to be bought separately. You can see the label in there as well, which shows this jacket meets the middle level of 3 within the overall CE protection standard and that's double A. Finally, there are two connection zips to attach this jacket to a pair of Revit trousers. There are matching trousers for this jacket, the Defender 3 Gore-Tex, and they are available in different leg lengths, which helps to really get the fit absolutely right for you. The trousers cost £549.99 as we record this video, and this jacket is £729.99. So together, the combination comes in at two pence under 1280 quid. It's not cheap kit, but having worn quite a lot of different stuff for these videos, I think you get quite a lot of different options for that money. The quality is really high and the option to either have three layer Gore-Tex protection or loads of wind flow when it's really hot makes this jacket very versatile. I think there's a hell of a lot to be said in favour of this new jacket and I think someone who wants something really flexible and versatile for travelling should check this out to see if it suits them. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Revit Defender 3 Gore-Tex jacket. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.